<gasps> what the f- I, I, I need to get fucking out of here, it's just not the same. Back in the day, and I'm talking really back in the day, there was a time when this daft looking gun, or technically guns, were the most overpowered weapons in COD history. I mean, COD players have seen some shit over the years, but nothing quite like the Model 1887 shotgun from Modern Warfare 2, with a Kimbo pre-patch. For a shotgun that had the range of a fucking ballistic missile, the 1887 in its name isn't for the year it was invented, but the range it can shoot shells in miles. Imagine a sniper in the game which can shoot 8 bullets at a time, you'd say, that's a pretty fucking stupid idea, Infinity Ward, it's about as balanced as your daft or 10 pints. But somehow at the beginning of Modern Warfare 2, the Model 1887's mental range went undetected and copious amounts of bullshittery ensued. It was so bad that people felt fucking guilty for using them. So these guys have no chance. Like, they just turn the corner, get shot. Like, watching this video, I feel bad, but back then, I was just like, oh, okay, these guns are pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. In the same way that winning the lottery would be pretty good. To be fair, I do recall at the time, it did take a couple weeks after the game launched before people began to realise how ridiculous this gun was, or what I should be saying again, guns with a Kimbo wear. Probably because the Model 1887 isn't unlocked until level 67, and come on to fuck, it hardly looks like a fucking super weapon, does it? It looks like the type of gun you should be shooting while on horseback. It looks like it belongs in Red Dead Redemption, not a fucking modern war simulator. I'm using the word simulator very loosely there, by the way. Like everything that can be exploited in an online multiplayer game, though, the models began to spread like the plague. Everyone was running around the map with these things like the fucking Terminator. Bear in mind that this was slightly before the hail of One Man Army noob tubes began, so instead of the flumps of grenade launchers, it was the thud of akimbo models you heard 24-7. They do have a nice sound, I have to say, a really, a really strong bass on them. The guns can only take you so far, but with the help of Marathon Pro, your soldier can literally run forever and was definitely not skipping leg day. Despite how good these guns were, they weren't really a, a camper's weapon of choice, you really need to be constantly on the move to get the most out of them. Stopping power on the class 2, just because. And steady aim to keep that pellet spread nice and tight so you can accurately hit all the vital organs of your enemies. Now you might be thinking that the gameplay you're seeing of these guns in the background still looks pretty good, pretty overpowered, and to that I'd say, oh, that's so sweet. But really, this version of the models is a sorry excuse for what they once were. Infinity Ward quickly whipped up a patch and they were nerfed to oblivion. Then the Spaz 12 took over as the true king of shotguns. In their original form, I'd be expecting to take down these two Harriers with my Akimbo models, and I'd certainly be expecting to hit this triple. I need to show you that one more time. If I'm shooting the original models, that's a fucking massacre. Still though, I found that even in 2017, I can make people rage quit themselves after being on the end of my Akimbo models. This guy just couldn't bear getting blasted after he shot his mean Nick his AC-130, so they got the fuck out of there. One thing to this day I still don't understand though is how the fuck your soldier even reloads the models. I mean, to cock the shotgun he's doing this mad spin action, but how's he actually reloading them? Look here, right, how on earth is he reloading that with just one arm? Is your guy fucking Doc Ock or something? Well, I actually decided to investigate. It turns out you reload the models through telekinesis. How's about that, eh? And don't even get me started on the running motion, that doesn't quite add up either. 